Are you having issues with your Blink camera, not saving clips locally to the flash drive attached to your sync module? Don't worry, I will go in detail of all the factors that you need to be wary of to get over this predicament once and for all. So, welcome to Blink Blink, let's get started. Contrary to popular belief, you can't plug in any USB device with a USB connector to the USB port of your sync module. There are specifications for the local storage that you need to first fulfill before getting the local storage feature on the sync module working. First, your flash drive needs to be formatted to XFAT for it to be readable on your sync module. A FAT32 or FAT formatted storage should also work. Then you will need to make sure that there is enough space available on your flash drive. The system files for the sync module alone will require a minimum of 400 MB. I recommend that you keep a flash drive specifically for the purpose of clip backups on your sync module and not use it anywhere else. And lastly, the Blink sync module can read USB memory devices up to 256 GB. So if you're using a pen drive that's higher than 256 GB, then you might need to look into a leaner option. Now, the story doesn't end with the flash drive itself. The PC that you're connecting your flash drive to is also a critical player, as it is what you use to check if the clip has been backed up to your flash drive. So ensure that the USB port you plug your flash drive into is properly working. If you're not sure whether your PC is the culprit behind your flash drive not being read, try plugging in the drive to a different PC or even your smartphone using an OTG adapter. If your flash drive passes all the factors that I've mentioned so far, then you can move on to checking whether your sync module is properly functioning. The sync module is a very simple device that is used to establish a connection between your Blink cameras and the Blink servers, which can be accessed using the Blink app on your phone. Local storage is meant to be a backup for the clips recorded on your Blink camera in case you run out of cloud storage or don't have access to a Wi-Fi connection. Looking at how the device is designed, the USB port is quite exposed to plenty of environmental substances that can hinder its functionality. So ensure that the USB port on your sync module is clean and dust-free. Ideally, there shouldn't be too much resistance when you plug in your flash drive. A good sign that the connector is working properly is that the flash drive is readable from the Blink app on your phone. But if this isn't the case, then you might need to get your sync module checked and cleaned. Now, there is one more hardware factor that can affect the functioning of local storage on your sync module and it is an internal one. You see, sync modules are devices that are plugged into power 24-7, so charging and power related issues are bound to crop up. This can be resolved by performing a power cycle on your Blink sync module, which ensures that the charges from within the system are completely reset, ensuring refreshed operations. To power cycle your Blink sync module, simply unplug it from power and plug it back in after a minute. I recommend that you power cycle your module multiple times in order to get the best out of your device. Now, if local storage is still not working for you, then you can try resetting your sync module. Resetting your sync module will wipe out all the data from the device, bringing it back to its factory defaults. To reset your sync module, locate and press the reset button on the back for about 5 seconds till a red light flashes up front. Then open the Blink app on your phone and tap on the sync module offline banner. Tap on the delete sync module option and enter or scan its serial number. Then tap on delete and follow the instructions on the screen to add it again. And with that, I believe that now your local storage should be working as intended. If you're still facing issues, I recommend that you use a different flash drive and follow through the instructions once again. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more smart home content.